Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to start a new series and I am naming this new series as Navratan. So the question is, what is Navratan? Navratan is uh, called uh, in a uh, bigger picture um, a special kind of jewelry where uh, they are usually gold jewelries and there are many um, precious stones and semi-precious stones are engraved on those jewelries and these kind of jewelry is really popular um, in um, southeast asia and south asian regions uh, i would say from middle east all the way to um, I would say Thailand, Singapore also, they are also big on Navratan. So the, any, I think it started in Indian subcontinent uh, from very ancient time. And the reason they call it Navratan because there was nine stones and there are all these gimmicks of astrology and everything involved into this. As an artist, I'm not going to get into all those things. I am just only going to focus on the aesthetic part of Navratan. So some um, rules that I'm going to follow in this series is the colors are going to be very bold. You know that I love bold colors and they are going to be little intricate detail patterns and there would be a lot of gold involved into this and would use jewel tones. So let's see how my first one goes. So this is a canvas which is six inch by six inch um, diameter and the back I used the frog tape and I'm going to use this uh, plastic uh, pieces to support the canvas um, just to make sure that it doesn't sag as I work on them just to give give it a strong base so the the painting doesn't uh, create a puddle in the center since this one went to which angle did i do so this angle so i'm going to insert another one to the opposite direction so probably on the other side um you can do two three that way if you can make sure that your canvas doesn't sag it's important especially if you're trying to do intricate work so let me give me some time so it's not easy but it's doable so now i have strong um base or foundation um so that's how i prepped my surface i'm going to move my uh, spinner and i'm going to show you what i did for the base i went to walmart and i found out that i could uh, like ask them to put different colors into their bases so i picked original berry and I am going to mix some of these with a dash of GAC 800 to stop creasing. And depending on the thickness, I might, might also uh, mix a little bit of uh, Floetrol. So let's see what, uh, what I would, how would I prepare this. So now that I I prepared all my paints. I am going to let's see which should I start. Let's start with white. So half of this canvas I'm going to make it white.
um, probably my my pattern is going to be on the white because um, white keeps it nice and clear you can see all the colors and the other side is my contrast So that's pretty much my base coat. The red looks thinner, so I'm going to reduce the amount of paint I have on the surface. Okay, so let's start. So what I'm doing is I am pouring the gold, making sure that the gold touches the red. And inside, I am going to put a couple of colors, but I'm not going to overlap them. I'm going to put them side by side. This one. Okay, and I'm going to fill up the white with gold. I'm going to do another one here, but this time I'm going to put my colors first, which is, of course, my beautiful stick. As I'm pouring different colors and in my head, I'm thinking about different color stones. So can you figure out what I'm thinking with different colors? What stone I'm thinking about different when I'm laying different colors? What else can I mix? Let's do this one again. There has to be some kind of harmony between the two. Maybe a little bit aqua here because that will give the two puddles some um, consistency or Sorry guys, sometimes I'm very quiet when I work. I am not a very good talker. Now it's time for sale activator. And 
and I'm going to use the US uh, the cell activator recipe with US Floatrol. Okay, now I'm going to blow. Why the white is on the top? Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay. Now, let's modify. How about this goes this direction? Oh, something's big in there. Gooey, gooey things. Oops. Now that I have taken care of this, how about I make a swear a lot of this? Maybe I want to keep my red more and get rid of white. So I'm going to push it towards that direction. The center is now here, so my paint will go on that direction. Okay. So let's start so now I am okay with the amount of paint I have on the center let's do some modification so let's do this since I have a bent here, I'm going to go this direction. Uh, let's break them up here also. Kind of like, looks like peacock feather. Let's Create a swirl here, I think it will look nice because of that purple. I don't like this shape even though I 
love the color so let's see what we can do here um Maybe a swirl here, how about that? some intricate detail Let's do something here because this one is pretty big and nothing is happening there. I'm thinking if I dab my skewer into the paint and can I do with anything with this? So let's see. Nope, it's not working. So probably Let's try with this color. This might work because, sorry. not bad as a detail right yeah. hmm. i will explore this some more So I'm going to stop now because 
you know what? No, I am not going to stop because I just thought of something else. If I do the same thing, here as well. The thing is I need my paints to be thinner. So let's see if I can find a thinner paint. There we go. So let's use this. This is Thalo Green. Okay, not bad so the reason I did this because this peach color was too much like there was no um, brick so that's why I did that uh, I will probably definitely keep on practicing these oh, my practice is always in front of you so you'll see that I'm doing this more and more to get to where I should be.
Okay, that's it. I have my back pain now, so I'm gonna stop now. Okay, let's see close up. So this was my first try on my knock button series. I usually don't um, create anything without recording. And I wanted to show you how I came up with this idea. Before even I pour anything, things in my mind, I keep, keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. And finally, I do it um, in canvas. So um, this is my first try and I'm sure I am going to improve. And the color combination and things are going to change definitely. You can see a lot of details. And again, all these things are in my head because of the inspiration of the Navratan jewelries from uh, Southeast Asia. And one thing you can see that my peach color here, which basically spread a lot, that was not my plan. But the thing I realized is like the color base paint from Walmart that I bought and I mixed, asked them to mix it for me. That's actually thinner consistency than the uh, ready-made white uh, color colors that we buy from Walmart. So since the red was thinner in consistency than the white was, so all my paint spread a lot on this side. So next time I do something with this red color, I have to keep that in mind and I have to plan accordingly. So I was thinking probably I will make sure I drain out most of my paint so it cannot, the other colors cannot spread on the red that much. Um, as you can see, I love this. Let me show you this area. And it's I, I was inspired to do this because I suddenly remembered a cake decoration. This side was my most favorite part this is the piece that i love the most um, the gold and the white also another uh, favorite part for me is this green area oh that's so pretty so this is how it looks let me clear it so all together i hope you liked it and uh, please write your comments give me some more ideas so i can do some more of these kinds and uh, practice more thanks for today until ne next time and please 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 thank you thank you thank you uh, for uh, sticking with me please subscribe my channel and give it a thumbs up so anytime i post a new video you can see me